Hi Virgos, this is Nayla Latrice. I am here to do a read for you guys. I am going to pull six to row and then um, a hearts oracle for advice at the end um, of the reading. If you guys are interested in personal reads, I am accepting uh, bookings right now. So you guys can click the link down below in the description box, okay? Alrighty, let's get right on to it. Um, I also will be um, reading for other signs now as well i was doing that a while ago um i stopped just because of life and the transitions but i want to keep on doing um virgo reads and 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 so forth but i am going to not every sign there's probably about seven signs i will be um reading for um so yeah so go and check to see if uh your other placements are um if there's a video for the other placements but let's start because it's a minute in spirit what read I can even ask a question, right? What message do you have for Virgo? Let's see what come out. Y'all know I don't edit. <laughs> what y'all get is what y'all get. Okay, Virgo. So what we have is the Nine of Cups is the first um, card that came out along with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, so what I feel right now, you guys could be feeling like you guys have failed. Um, Seven of Pentacles, normally you see that how it says failure here number seven so um normally with the seven of pentacles it, it depicts someone looking um at a bush of their coins of their hard work of all the seeds essentially that they have planted and there um it's proof that hey everything that you've done is is sprouting it is actually growing uh even though it may not look like it it also talks about maybe waiting for it to appear in the manner that you want it to appear so here with this seven of of pentacles in this version it's failure so you guys may be feeling like you have been putting in a lot of hard work and that all your seeds just fell on unfertile ground but that's not the case i believe that this is, a, is an illusion i believe all the all the seeds that you have planted they have been planted on fertile ground um there just may be more cultivation and more work that you may have to do you may have to um you know, do things, water it a different time of day or, you know, uh, plant care for it uh, a little bit different, but the seeds, they did take root. So I just believe this is your subconscious mind making you feel like you are failing when it actually you're not. And like I said, with this nine of cups here, you see that they, um, this is talking about emotional fulfillment, emotional happiness. And I feel this is what you really are. Spirit is saying, don't feel like you're a failure. Be happy, be happy within yourself okay this is exactly what this is talking about um some of you guys may be celebrating of course we know we have um the holidays coming up here so you guys may be going to cookouts going to family friends house going on vacations traveling going to the beach doing all of that but spirit is um it's also saying if you don't have those plans, make some plans to do something to get out, to pamper yourself, or to just get in a social environment to where you're not feeling this energy, okay? I do feel um, that is something you're coming out of. Let's get four more cards, okay? Let's see. The High Priestess is what came out next, so... With this, I do feel many of you guys are very, very spiritual. You guys are very in tune. Of course, you guys are Virgos. Um, but there is something uh, that you need to go within yourself or something that's going to be revealed within yourself. But I feel this is self-answers. I feel like this is more um, spirit telling you to follow your intuition to keep this happiness going. Follow your intuition to, to help you realize how to... Um, allow yourself to see that these that there's another way of doing it that's the energy that i'm getting here there's another way of doing something to help you get out of this um this energy uh and this you have to go within maybe some of you guys need to again pamper yourself i just said that take a bath light some candles do a spiritual bath do some rituals um do whatever you need to do to cleanse your energy that way your your intuition is as clear as possible your energy is clear as possible and you can receive the messages that are coming through to you okay i feel like the 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 secret to happiness lies within is what i'm picking up with this nine of uh cups here and then this high priestess here with both of these cards here together i definitely feel the secret to happiness is within you virgo stop being so hard on yourself you're, you're very difficult on yourself look at what we have here at the bottom of the deck virgo love has just creeped its way in but i believe this is first self-love i know y'all don't want to hear that right but you should want to hear it <laughs> 
Um, but yes, um, love is here, but I feel this is talking about self-love. And the more that you begin to love on yourself, Virgo, trust and believe that this love will be coming back to you, okay? You have the victory here with this six of wands here. I do feel like... Um, Again, whatever it is that you've been focused on, that you've been working on, it is coming uh, It is coming to fruition. You have the victory. You won the race. You are a leader here, Virgo. I also feel that someone does want to come towards you. Someone wants to lead you in love is what I'm picking up here as well. Or somebody wants this victory in love um, with you. Um, with this love, with this Ace of Cups, this is also talks about new opportunities, new emotional experiences. So even if uh, this is you and you're, you're married um, and you're not looking for love or anything because you're already married or maybe you're single and you don't want love, this talks about em being emotionally fulfilled. We saw this Nine of Cups. So you are emotionally fulfilled. Even if you don't know it, you are. You just have to tap into it. But with this Ace of Cups, these are new experiences, people, places, opportunities that will be presenting itself to you to help you realize um, just how emotionally um, happy you are and in tune you are. It's just all a shift of perspective. But if you are um, in... in um, if you uh, do want love in your energy, I uh, do know it is here from someone else and they do want to lead you in love. Uh, many of you guys, you guys have information, communication that is coming in, uh, whether it's this opportunity that's coming in, whether it's a love partner, it's coming in quickly. There's a delivery, 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 open up, This they're, they're on their way. This opportunity is on this way. Look, that says swiftness. So whatever is happening, is happening very quickly, okay? You have a delivery coming. And then we have at the bottom of the deck, uh, the Hierophant. So with this Hierophant here, um, this lets me know whatever is coming towards you, it is something that is very committed. Again, this could be, this is a spiritual connection as well. It doesn't have to be romantic, but this is a spiritual connection that is here. This is someone who values their spirituality. Um, you. This also says that you value that, and this is something you guys can value together as well. Um I, I'm hearing religious, so maybe this person is more religious or you're more religious. Um, however, that may be. Maybe one is more religious and one spiritual. I feel like there could also be a spiritual difference um, as well. They're, they're, whatever they are, they're very... Um, Whatever they're practicing, they're serious about it is what I'm trying to say. So maybe um, they are spiritual um, or maybe they're religious. However, it, they're, they they practice it. They're, they are true to what they speak. So if there is a religious difference and that's a, a, a deal breaker for you, then do understand for some of you guys, there is that difference there. Not everyone, but for some of you guys, I do feel that that is there, okay? Doves could be very important right now to somebody or that somebody could be seeing doves as a spiritual animal or maybe doves are, um, it's just someone's spirit totem. Um, also, um... There was something else here. Okay, it, it went away. So um, I guess it's not meant to be said. So, but overall, the energy that I'm picking up for you guys, Virgo, before I get to your heart oracle, is that there is, um, don't feel like you failed. Everything that you have put in, I know you guys have been waiting a very long time, but everything that you have planted, you're not a failure, okay? Um, also, this person that wants to come towards you, maybe um, they feel like they failed you the first time around if this is someone that's coming back um, because this Ace of Cups fell right under here. So they could feel like they failed you the first time and they want to come back and make it right and lead you in love again is what I keep hearing. So um, somebody definitely wants to do that. But everything is, uh, I do feel like you guys are going to be connecting with family as well. But do know that you guys do have co communication coming in. You do have information coming in. Somebody wants to speak to you. Somebody wants to make things right um or also there is um um, um, opportunities, new opportunities that are here that is coming in and it could be both, okay? So, I am going to, um, two of them came out, so I'm going to read these two and then I'm going to read the bottom of the deck for you to close out. Um, I appreciate all of you guys for tuning in thus far, if you made it this far into the video and if you are interested in uh, booking a personal read to see how your own energy is and what your own personal uh, love story is or work uh, story 
story or whatever your experience is, then you guys can book me at the link below, okay? Or if you just want to follow me on Instagram or see what I'm up to, I have a lot of creative endeavors that are that are taking off for me as well. So you can uh, check me out over there and on TikTok. I now have a TikTok, okay? So let me get into the oracles. Oh, it's one. I just saw 10, 11. So um, everything is right on track. Abundance. Be careful of the words you speak because they are manifesting into reality. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So Spirit is saying friendship is most important right now um, with, within this connection if you're in a connection with someone. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So someone has a lot of love for you, Virgo, and they are in your energy. And uh, that's this person, this Ace of Cups that is here, okay? Out of these six cards, this Ace of Cups did come out. The Six of Wands came out and this Eight of Wands came out. So a lot of action. Um that is here um, and they're coming in and they want this commitment with this as the bottom, the overall energy at the bottom of the deck, okay? Oh, and I, I shuffled them to, to read the bottom, but you know what? I'm going to keep shuffling until I feel like um, I want to stop for... Oh, oh, Spirit says take this one. So I'm going to take this one. This is supposed to be the bottom. So y'all got three. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. You see how that works out? Someone has deeper feelings for you than they're telling you, Virgo. Somebody wants you. Someone wants to be it back in your energy or someone wants to be in your energy because they are watching you. For many of you, this could be somebody completely, completely new. I feel more new vibes than um, old vibes. I definitely feel for some of you guys, somebody does feel like they did fail you the first time and they want to come back in. But if they do, if you guys do redo together, be friends first, okay? So I am going to stop here. Thank you, Virgo. Um, for all your support please thumbs up this video if it resonated with you and subscribe to the channel until next time bye virgo